Hi guys! Welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Today, I've set a 4th of July summer table stay. I'm using patriotic vintage dishes, a color scheme of red, white, and blue, and fresh flowers from my garden. So let's take a look around the table. For this 4th of July tablescape, I'm using my patriotic tablecloth. I got this on eBay and it has fireworks bursting in a night sky. It makes me think of the line from our national anthem, the bombs bursting in air. And there's also little stars in the sky as well. And it's just my favorite tablecloth for the 4th of July. So you guys will have to get used to it. I'm gonna use it every 4th. I, I thought well, I could have used red, I could have used uh, blue or check. Um, but this is just my favorite, so I'm going to use it again, and I'm going to be using my red chargers. Uh, these are metal with um, little stars cut out. I found those quite a few years back at Goodwill, and I really like them for setting patriotic tables or um, for Christmas. I've used them uh, also, and uh, I'm going to be using this pretty blue and white transferware. Uh, it's vintage. The pattern is called um, Liberty Hall, uh, and it says Liberty Blue, made in England. It's painted on Staffordshire China. Um, my mother had these when I was a kid. This is not her set, but um, we had them. Uh, you could get them, originally a bank uh, commissioned them, and um, they gave them out to their customers and later they were sold in grocery stores. My mother got her set uh, in a grocery store. And I'm going to be using my red handled flatware today. these pretty cobalt blue glasses. Uh, I got these uh, on eBay. I thought I would use these vintage pewter glasses today. Um, you think of pewter when you think of our founding fathers and Paul Revere and so uh, I thought with a color scheme the silver took the place of white uh, in the red, white, and blue. And then I also have this vintage hobnail set. I got these recently at an estate sale. I've got the little glasses and the picture. I've got these cute little flag. They're probably hors d'oeuvre plates, but I'm gonna use them as bread and butter plates. And I also have my uh, red cupcake stands. I'm going to use red dinner napkins with these patriotic flag napkin rings. I believe mother found those for me at a thrift store recently. Today for my centerpieces, I've used flowers that are blooming in my garden. Uh, I've got these red little pails. They've got little handles on each side and I've used those. And I've picked uh, hydrangeas. These are um, limelight hydrangeas. And then in with them, I've put my Casablanca lilies. They're blooming right now. Oh, they smell so wonderful. Uh, I've got quite a few uh, more uh, in a bed in the backyard and I think they're so gorgeous. And then here in the top, of course I didn't have anything really blue, but I have these uh, purple feather plants. I thought they kind of looked like uh, fireworks going off. Um, I have blue hydrangeas, but there again, they're uh, not a navy blue, so. Uh, but I thought I would use some of my fresh flowers today. Like I said, I think the lilies are so pretty. And they're really easy to grow. You just plant the bulbs and they 
come back every year, but they like full sun. And uh, I've put little uh, miniature flags in the bouquets as well. And here in between, I have these little lanterns. Uh, I've got a red, white, and blue. Uh, here's the blue. They're actually electric, and you can use them outside. And I do, uh, but for today, I've just removed the little nightlight bulb, and I've put a red candle in each one of them. But they're little lanterns with cutouts of stars. I found those years ago uh, at Goodwill. Here on this corner of the table, I have this fun uh, little wooden bowl. It makes me think of a wooden mixing bowl, and uh, it's been painted uh, to look like a patriotic bunting. I think it's so cool. It would be perfect for potato chips or something like that. And uh, Mother found this for me at a thrift store, and I just love it. I think it's so unique. And here I've got a couple of these eagles. They're little Limoges style boxes. They've got some little little rhinestones, I think, on them and they open up. I've got a pair of those here on the table. And uh, talking about the Independence Hall uh, China, uh, my grandmother uh, and granddad had the set that mother gave them and they didn't really use them much. They just mostly sat in the cabinet. And uh, one day, years passed, I decided I wanted to get them. And my grandmother had passed and my granddad didn't use them. And I was digging around the cabinet and guess who got them? My Aunt Millie. <laughs> she went off with them. And uh, like I said, uh, she collected blue and white. And so that's okay. I just got me another set off of eBay. <laughs> um, and I will tell you though, I'm the kind of person, if I ever give you something and you, deci you decide you don't want it, give it back to me. I'll take it back. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Uh, here I've got a fun little uh, plate. It's shaped like a star. And I've just set this ruby red uh, star container on top of it. They don't really go together, but I've just stacked them together. And uh, here I've got uh, Abe, and I've got um, Washington. Uh, these are Avon perfume bottles, and um, I think we picked these up at an estate sale. Uh, they were gold, and when I say gold, they were really gold, and I didn't like the color, and I thought, well, I'm not going to use gold for a patriotic table, so I'll just spray paint them. It's not like they're a valuable antique, and um, I just sprayed them gray and then used some uh, silver rub and buff, but I thought our presidents looked much better in a silver tone along with the pewter. <laughs> uh, they still have the Avon cologne in them. It's really strong, but I like it. <laughs> uh, and here at this end, I've got a ruby red Mosier cupcake stand, and I've set this little patriotic uh, Christmas tree. It's uh, kind of like the vintage ones from the 50s. Mother found me this at a thrift store and uh, I thought it was so cute and I don't know if it shows up here with the lighting uh, but I've got it turned on. But I thought that was a fun little thing. She just paid a dollar for it. <laughs> uh, whoever thought of a 4th of July Christmas tree Here's another one of the eagles. And at this end of the table, I have the ruby hobnail pitcher. And it goes with the uh, set of glasses. And I got it uh, at an estate sale uh, one town over. Uh, I bought several things and I didn't have a hobnail ruby set. I've got a lot of ruby glasses, but I didn't have a hobnail, so I had to have them. And this little dish I picked up somewhere, probably in an estate sale. Uh, it's the DAR, Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, I know some of my clients are in the DAR because 
I came and helped them with the house to get ready for their uh, DAR meeting, uh, setting tables and such. Uh, but anyway, I thought this was kind of appropriate with the flags. And here I've got another star plate. It's new star with stars on it. And I don't know why I set this glass on the table, guys, just because I liked it. I only have one. And it was in the bottom of a box of teacups that I bought at a thrift store. And down in the bottom, it was there. And I think it is so neat. Oh, I wish I had a set of them. I've Googled them. I've looked on um, eBay and Etsy. And I haven't had any luck. Uh, but I did... Uh, find one uh, similar to it and it's um it was called Fabergé bubble glass and that glass was a hundred and thirty dollars for one glass and this was in a two dollar box which I got a lot of pretty teacups but this was down in the bottom I hope nobody paid hundred and thirty dollars for one glass but needless to say I won't complete the set if that's the case but um like I said, I thought it was pretty, and I hope later I can find some somewhere. I saved the search on eBay, so maybe I'll get an email one of these days and find a set. But it's probably vintage barware, but I think it would look so great with anything uh, blue and white or patriotic. I think it's really neat um, little glass. <laughs> if you have any, feel free to send them to me. <laughs> And here at this corner of the table, I've got my catch stand stacked. Uh, I've got a ruby red square catch stand on the bottom and a Mosier uh, ruby red on top. And around it, I've used these patriotic red, white, and blue little mugs. Uh, they're vintage. I've had them for a long time. I think I got them in a state sale. And look at these darling little um, salt and peppers. Aren't they the cutest? Um, I found them at um, Cracker Barrel. And then here, I've got my chubby little Uncle Sam. Uh, he's a little cookie jar. I think he's so cute. Uh, I found it last year at Marshall's. But I think he's so cute. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with a friend. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, wishing you a happy summer and a happy 4th of July. Bye-bye now.